Alright, so this is not really a very great week for the box office. That's like the weeks after Doctor Strange came out. No movies came out, no big movies came out. It seems like they unrolled all the huge movies. Of course, Dope is coming out next week. And there's really nothing else coming out. If you look at the DVD where we say it's like, there's like no movies coming out afterwards. There's no, really no movies coming out in September. Okay. There might be some surprise hits because of course there's no movies coming out. But Forever and Fauna dropped 68%. This movie is doing a biz movie at the box office. This movie is already doing a biz movie wigs wise. Of course, all you know, despite you know TikTok praising this movie, which again is not really a big accomplishment for this movie. Okay. But this movie, they even passed five hundred million dollars in the second week. Yep. So four of them funded, they even pass five hundred million dollars in the second weekend. And they're probably hoping, hey, oh yeah, what's the DC Week of Super Pets is coming? I forgot that thing was coming out. But uh, four of them funded is not doing too well, despite being a Marvel movie, it's not doing that well. Okay. So yep, we'll update as as the course of the video goes on. But this movie's at negative one twenty eight million dollars. Okay, negative. Okay, six point five million dollars is needed for four of them funder. Okay, I tried to wait because you know Box Office Mojo is not going to update these numbers. They're not. They're going to put you on site updating, which is completely stupid and dumb. Okay, but four of them funder is at negative one twenty eight million dollars worldwide. Okay, that's abysmal. This is abysmal. Okay, Doctor Strange was pro was profitable. In the second weekend. Jurassic World was profitable in the second weekend. Minions was profitable in the second weekend. Before in front of it, still at negative $128 million worldwide. Okay. That's invisible for MCU. That's invisible for Marvel. And this movie costed off $250 million to make. $250 million to make. And it needs $625 million. Okay. It's probably going to make back that $125 million. At the end of its box office. But this movie dropped 68% which is invisible for the MCU. Abysmal numbers. Okay. Which we're all seeing the end of Disney. We're really seeing the end of Disney. Right, you bombed. Four of them funded. We'll probably not bomb, but it will probably underperform at the box office, which it is uh, right now. Okay. And there's no movie coming out besides Strange World, Avatar 2, and Black Panther. To expect, and, they probably, and we just probably expecting three, two, of the, two of those movies to make a billion dollars. But Four of them funded, one of the most popular Avengers. Can't even make a billion dollars. The last movie didn't make a billion dollars, but did way better than the last entry. Which for for the Dark World did better than the last entry, but this is doing worse than Ragnarok. Okay, it's doing worse than Ragnarok. So no matter how much praise TikTok throws at it, most people just don't care about Disney anymore. No one cares. Okay, yes, these movies are probably throwing in massive box office halls, but that's mostly the normies because the normies don't care about if a movie's good or bad. So yeah, put on four of them funder. Now let's talk about Minions The Rise of Gru. This movie's at five hundred thirty-two million dollars, having insane ranks at the box office as well. I don't think this movie's gonna hit a billion dollars like I thought it would. Because the international numbers are not really doing too well compared to domestic. Okay. Typically these movies do really really well internationally. And this movie is still is still the highest grossing animated feature for the past two years. Yep, the highest grossing animated feature for the past two years. Which is the most hilarious thing, because of course, the Disney was expected to take that spot. At Santo, turning red. Buzz Lightyear was expected to make a billion dollars. But nope, me and the Rise of Gru is the highest grossing animated feature in the past few years. And it'll probably remain that until Spider-Verse 2 or Mario movie comes out. You know, as well. So, I don't think Strange World is going to pass me and the Rise of Gru. Okay, the Disney fanboys might say it's a masterpiece. Sephiroth's Productions, you know, style of Eli might call it masterpieces. But... It's not going to make money. That's the thing. It's woke. It's trash. And no one's going to watch it. Okay. But me and the grew $542 million made worldwide. Which is pretty good. So me and the grew is currently at $342 million. Which again. This movie do, does need to have the legs to make a billion dollars. But this movie is pretty successful. It's doing pretty pretty well at the box office. Minions the Wise Agu, I think we need to make uh, space for the new, three new movies. I don't think Miss Harris had Ghost of Paris as a budget yet, but two movies did come out this week. So we're going to talk about both of them. So the next movie is Well, a Crawdad Sing. This movie is actually doing better than most people think. This movie made $13 million. There's no international sales for this movie. So 
this movie needs to make $60 million to break even. Which is going to need to make $43 million globally to break even. And if this movie doesn't get good international numbers, this movie's not going to make any money whatsoever. Its international sales is also like spread around. Like, it's very, very, very irritating how they release these movies internationally too. So this movie's going to be a movie where they're going to have to update it over time. But this movie's going to need to make $60 million domestically to break even, which I don't think it will. I think this movie will end up around $40 to $50 million. Because even though this movie's based off a novel, it's not a part of a franchise, which is, uh, is going to be the biggest hindrance to this movie's box office success. Of course, you know, by, of course, World of Mouth could help this movie. But I don't really see many people really spraying around, where's the crawdad sing? Okay, but we had had box surprise box office hits like Everything Everywhere All At Once. That was a pretty good movie. The Lost City. Which according to IMDb, it's a bad movie, but nobody cares what they think. Okay. Also, the success of The Bad Guys. All movies are not a part of a franchise. And they had, they had, yeah, these movies are gonna have to need to have rigs to stay relevant. Because of course, the next big franchise movie comes out. And they get forgotten because they're not a part of a franchise. Outside of the bigger film crowd. So, that's what about what the crowd had sing. Another not so box office success. And so, yeah, it's a beat, quote unquote, expectations, but it's still not a success. Next is Top Gun Maverick. It, I don't think they have the full sales for this. So, Top Gun Maverick, which, again, we have the numbers updated for this movie. On Box House Bowls, it's around six, two, 1.2 billion, which means, yes, it's gonna pass the horrible Incredibles 2. Yeah, I know, I know, Incredibles fan would be so angry when I say that, but Incredibles 2, like the first movie, is complete garbage. Okay, but. Actually, the first movie is mediocre, the second movie is mediocre. Both mediocre movies, but I can call them garbage to piss off the Incredibles War, suppose. The people who basically say it's the greatest movie of all time, you know, those people, well, it's not, it's not, it's very overrated, pretty much garbage. But Top Gun Maverick made $1.2 billion worldwide. This movie, again, is doing much better than, you know, Rupert expected it to do, obviously. And this movie made a billion dollars. Something that Four of them funded has not. Something that Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness has not, and something that Buzz Whitey has not. But again, this is not a Disney movie, and it has made a billion dollars. Okay, and despite all the Disney funding, none of the Disney movies are gonna make a billion dollars this year. May Avatar two might because, of course, the War Super, the you know, because of how successful the first movie was. But again, the main success of X only made like a hundred million dollars, and the first three Matrix made like six hundred million dollars each. So yeah. Next is Elvis. Again, this movie is doing pretty well at the feeders. $185 million worldwide. Well, so you have the numbers here. Elvis is these is at negative $28 million. So if he make $28 million more to break even, and I think it will make that $28 million more. And we also have updated numbers for Top Gun Maverick at $812 million made. So that means Elvis will basically eventually turn a profit at the end of its box office run. So that's it about Elvis. This, and yeah, it's $185 million well, right again, the international numbers are not really showing up for this movie. But yeah, I could take it on box office bozo, but they probably have the same numbers as you. So, yeah. Pause the Fury, box office failure. Six million made. This movie made to make $125, $120 million, and it's not going to make any money at all. Okay. It's not going to make any money at all. This movie is going to be Paramount's big flop of the year. Okay. This is going to be Paramount's big flop of the year. Okay. And, you know, Sonic 2 was successful. Lost City made money. Top Gun, billion dollar hit. And then they have the failure, you know. Pause the failure. So it ends. Paramount's successful streak of the year. Scream was successful despite Phantom Man saying the movie. Of course, you know, Sonic 2 making money. Uh, Top Gun, billion dollars. Lost City making like $50 million. Or Pause the Fury. Okay. No one wanted this movie. Okay. And they still released this movie. They sold us to release this on Paramount Plus. And I think it was a complete travesty to release this to fears. And this can be remembered as one of the worst animated movies of the year as well, probably as well. So Pause of Fury, Box Office Failure, Box Office Flop. So this movie is at negative $114 million worldwide, which is abysmal. This is abysmal. This is one of the biggest flops of the year. Not as big as the flop as Buzz White, yo. Which is hilarious, but this is one of the biggest flops of the year. One of the biggest flops of the year. And Pause of Fury, again, needs to make at least, I think it's around 100, no, it's around 100 million, it's the same as Ta Downton Abbey, so, it needs to make, 
around a hundred million. So this movie is gonna need to make a hundred million, and it's not gonna make a hundred million dollars. It is not gonna make a hundred million dollars at the box office. And unless it gets like a release on time, makes like a hundred million dollars now. Nope, not gonna make a million dollars. This movie is a box office failure. Box office starred. So we on Paramount Park. So part of the theory, box office flop. Nobody really cares. Black Phone, 140 million dollars made worldwide. This movie made 74 million dollars worldwide. Again, definitely a box of a success by you for Universal. Again, Paul the Fury was a big best fire, but Black Phone, big success. And it's going to continue making money. I think it's going to end up around making like 80 to 85 million dollars for Universal, which is pretty well for a non franchise movie. Again, Black Phone's not a power franchise that made this much money, which for nowadays is pretty good. Good. Because, again, Hollywood does not like originality anymore. They just want to make, you know, the same, you know, five movies and they make a billion dollars and they pat themselves on the back every year at the Oscars for, like, the two movies that, you know, that are woke and give them best picture, basically. So, Jurassic World Dominion made $902 million, not really doing really good rigs wise I don't think this is going to make a billion dollars. This movie made another $40 million. I think it made another $40 million worldwide. Yeah, sadly, this did not make a billion dollars. But still could be Doctor Strange, which would be pretty hilarious. But yep, this is how the, this is how the Jurassic Park... I think this is why they're not making a Jurassic World 4. But they're going to make making more Jurassic Park movies in the universe. But it won't be the Jurassic World Dominion series. So this movie made around $902 million. So this movie is not really do, making that much more money. And basically this movie made five hundred and two million dollars. Actually it's five hundred and twelve million dollars. So this movie has still a huge success, made more money than Doctor Strange, which is hilarious. If you go around to Doctor Strange it made four hundred forty fifty three million dollars, I think it's gonna make that much more money. But you have Jurassic World, not gonna make a billion dollars, but still a hefty massive profit for Universal at the box office. Which would be pretty good for Universal. So, and it's doing much better than Sony Pictures, the other car dad thing. Next is Miss Harris Goes to Paris, a movie that, you know, literally nobody wanted. <laughs> the title sounds stupid, and there's no budget for this movie, and made $1.9 million. So, yeah, Miss Harris Goes to Paris, probably. Again, this movie only released in 980 theaters, but it didn't really make any money because nobody wanted to see it. Next is White Year, Buzz White Year again. Two twelve million a box office failure. Uh no one basically went to see this movie. With this movie, it's still at negative two seventy eight million dollars worldwide. And yeah, that's it for the box office of today of today. Uh we can there's no really anything else to update. Marshall with the Susan didn't really make that much made made a pretty hefty amount, but not many of the movies are really making money anymore. Doctor Strange is that way much feeders. Uh Bob's Burgers, Box Office Failure, the bad guys. Again, that movie has been out for so long. They've been everything ever all at once. Making $67 million domestically. And made $87 million. Again, they don't update the international sales. But it's like at 95 94 Yeah, this movie is basically out of feeders now. It's on Blu-ray. Basically. And, yep. That's basically about, you know. This video. Goodbye.